You're watching Channel 7, KBVN-TV, Buena Vista. This is the Southland's number one news, Channel 7 Eyewitness News, with John Huntsman and Joanne Lachlan. Sports with Kenneth Murphy. Weather with Dr. Walter Raines. Chip Daniels in Chopper 7. And the Eyewitness News team. Now, Channel 7 Eyewitness News at 6. Disaster strikes one small town in Indiana. Good evening, it's now the six o'clock hour. Eyewitness News reporter Carolyn Jackson has the latest on the rare event that's being described as catastrophic. A small town in Indiana is reeling after disaster struck. A massive and rare earthquake being described as catastrophic shook the town of Hawkins Wednesday evening. The quake has left thousands without power, hundreds without a home, and others fleeing the community. This comes after three Hawkins High School students were found murdered since Friday. The suspect in the murders, Eddie Munson, also a high school student, has been missing since Friday. Even with the recent disaster, officials say they will continue to locate Mr. Munson. Despite what has occurred, the FBI, in cooperation with Hawkins Police Department and Indiana State Police, will continue working to locate Mr. Munson. Is there a possibility that Mr. Munson was killed in the earthquake? We'll continue working with local law enforcement to secure the whereabouts of Mr. Munson. It's just the latest tragedy to befall this once quiet town. Last summer, a massive fire and explosion at a local mall claimed the lives of 30 people, including former city police chief Jim Hopper. I don't know what's going on in this town, but I don't understand how so many bad things can happen to one small community. Police continue to search for Eddie Munson, the suspect in the three murders. However, the recent earthquake is taking up many of the city's resources. Hawkins High School has been designated as a staging area and shelter for those that have lost their homes in the disaster. 28 have been confirmed dead, but with dozens still missing, that number is expected to rise. In the newsroom, I'm Carolyn Jackson, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. The National Guard, Red Cross, and Indiana Blood Center are all assisting in disaster relief efforts. Joanne? In other news, Lenora Hills police say a 15-year-old girl was attacked with a roller skate. It happened Saturday at the Skatomania near Juan Tabo Boulevard in the 40 Freeway. Police say the suspect, also a 15-year-old girl, was taken into custody. No word on the condition of the victim. John? Of course, much more still to come here tonight, including a crash on the 15 freeway that left two people seriously injured. And what's shaping up to be a beautiful weekend in the Southland. The forecast with Dr. Walter Raines next on Eyewitness News at 6.